Hey everybody, welcome to day three here on Symphony of the Seas. This is a sea day for us, and we're probably gonna put this together along with another sea day. But we have one mission. That's right, day seven will be another sea day as well. Yep. What's our mission today? Oh, that's right, a drink at every bar. <laughs> yep, I think there's somewhere in the 16 to 18 bars on this ship, so you're gonna get to see a lot of that. So if you wanna see what it's like to drink at all of them, stick around. That's right, <laughs> let's go. Here we go. All right, we went with the decision to order some room service this morning. Oh, fresh fruit plate, some jam, the most important piece of the day, coffee. I think we got toast under here. It's a sea day, and you can see the sea. Alright, starting off at the top because we are doing a pool day this morning. Sandbar is going to be number one. There's another one on the other side. I think the other one on the other side is named something different, so we'll have to do two different ones. That's true. Alright, pineapple boil the sangria and goofy smell at the sandbar. Headed to the solarium. I can already see bar number two, but we're not there yet. So we're headed into this hot tub, which you can see is a glass wall. Oh yeah, that view is actually a bit better. <laughs> Nothing against who's in there, but. All right, so we actually did start out our day at a reasonable hour. Uh, we had coffee delivered to the room and an English muffin toast. Fruit and some plate. fresh fruit. And that was wonderful yes. to wake up to that. It and really we was. ate that out on the balcony and then we did go down. There is a walking track that is 2.4 laps to get a mile. Um, and we did a few miles. We got a run in, yes. but the best part about that, besides the run and sweating a little bit, not a little I, bit, it was a lot. I was a sweaty mess, you don't <laughs> want to see that. Um, was Vitality Spa. So included in our beverage package is the Vitality Spa, no, Vitality Cafe. Yes. And they have a ton of drinks, like fruit smoothies, carrot drinks, what do you call them? Um, juices, sorry, yep. juices. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it was so we started off with that this morning yeah so i did the it was like a berry banana smoothie i did an apple mint fruit juice it was delicious yeah. and then we had like a granola bar and banana bread yeah and also included which you'll see in our drink package maybe today will be uh milkshakes from johnny rockets so a lot of different choices in your drink package yeah so definitely one nice thing even though it's almost a full ship yeah we have the hot tub to ourselves right now. <laughs> Obviously like a 12 person or better. Uh, maximum, maximum occupancy says 20 people. That would be gross. And we can't find the button for yeah. the jets. If we can find the jets, we're going to turn those on. But you know how they always have to have it um, in, a, in a random spot? You gotta, yeah, you got to climb a mountain or ladder or go through a cold shower to get to it. If we can find that, we'll do it. Okay. So, round two comes to a very beautiful bar. Round two. <laughs> All right, I'm going with the Bahama Mama. And I'm gonna do the Caribbean Mule. All right, here we go. Caribbean Mule and a Bahama Mama. And then we're headed to the pool area. All right, in the pool. Okay. All right, so this is not official merch, but our nephew Ronan made this for us for our travels. He designed it himself. Yeah, fueled by coffee. <laughs> All right, 
on the other side, opposite side of the sandbar, is the pool bar. So, next drink. and I went with a red stripe bottle. Here's your pool bar. Alright, moved out to the main pool. Alright, up on deck 16. The pool deck is down there. We found two bars up here, so mass bar it is. That's the next one. All right, it's starting to get a little fuzzy. So, at the mass bar, we need to start with water and mimosas. You on the Moscow Mule. All right, so. We got mimosas. Yeah, chug the waters, mimosas, taking it easy. How can you go wrong with orange juice and champagne? champagne. Yep. <laughs> So, I'm not so nervous about this guy, but I am worried about that guy. He looks like Richard Ramirez, the Night Stalker. Watch you pee. Alright, best news possible. We just realized that there is no other bar on this side because we were starting to like need to need eat. Food. <laughs> yeah, we need to eat because that was about to be number five, I think. No. Maybe. Is it more? I, I think know. it's five. I think we're at five. Yeah, but we need to eat lunch. We need lunch. And the good thing is there is no bar on this side. So let's go to lunch and drink there. That's right. All right, so we just realized we are going to be putting some work on future Josh and future Rachel yeah. um, to figure out the count. So and we're just not going to do that. Yeah. That's so not fair to them. Yeah, we've, we've tried to figure out numbers, but it's starting to get tough. And there's a lot. Oh yeah. God. Let's see how well this goes. Um, good thing we have the water package. We're going to go ahead and drink a little bit of that on our way to lunch, which is going to be right downstairs. We're going to go hit up some playmakers. Seems like a perfect spot for today. All right. Going to have a little bit of app play today. The aft is the back of the ship. Oh, it's like ass. You are so dirty. <laughs> Alright, headed to the back. Zoltar is talking to us. Uh, but we are headed to Playmakers. We're going to have to ride this, you know. Oh, yeah. Say that again? We have like 20 bars to do, so I'm trying to limit Rachel to one drink here at Plain. The problem with that is, look. Hello, goalpost margarita, duh. And you're already doing it. And knockout punch. But look at it. Again. Adult. I'm adulting. Alright, Playmakers. Going with some Tiger and a... Gold Coast Margarita. Yep, there we go. All right, so Playmakers is an extra cost, but because we have the dining package, we get, I think, $25 credit. I think it's 35 We are going to put that down below because <laughs> we're unsure about that. But we are going to go ahead with a burger, some wings, some jalapeno poppers, and coconut nachos, which we don't see enough people get those. They're so delicious. It is a cool sports bar area. There's shuffleboard. There's a bunch of arcade games. And it's right on the boardwalk. It's it's like a city at sea. It really is. All right, first up, jalapeno poppers. They look pretty classic. We do. Yep. With some ranch and... I'm going to guess that's like a chili. I think sweet chili. Sweet chili stuff? Yeah. All right, so we had these on the Los Angeles cruise, and we actually really loved them. So I'm hoping that they're going to be as good as they were last time. All right, burger, French fries. Burger comes with fries, and it is, it's got an onion ring on it. Let's, let's take a look at this sucker. It looks 
is a double patty. Isn't it, it is two patty. Um, onions, tomato, lettuce, cheese, special sauce. It looks really good. All right, jerk chicken, fried he wings. He did tell us they're super hot, 12. Yeah, the waiter did say that they're very hot. We did 12 of them. All right, when I lifted this up, there's some bacon too. That's a good old burger. I will say, as far as the nachos go, there is not as much topping as we had on the Navigator, I believe. I want to say it was our LA food. Yeah. yeah, so. Might not make it through all the chips, but we're gonna eat all that tuna for sure. All right, head over to Giant Rockets, grab us some dessert, milkshakes, of course. All right, not alcohol, but, but dessert. It, but dessert. All right, milkshakes at Johnny Rockets. This is covered in our drink package or food package. I don't drink, know what you count. It's the drink package. It's the drink package. Yep. All right, next up, good thing we got some food in us because we are doing the blackjack tournament. Rachel's in round two, I'm in round three. All right, we've been doing the blackjack tournament. So we are gonna hit up another bar. Here's the casino bar. All right, we went with the Passion Spritz and the Curacao Cosmo. because we're at 14 and 11,000 would be nice to catch on camera. Come on, let's see this. 11 grand. There it is. Bionic signature. Sure. <laughs> Good luck with that one. You have to look at every damn thing. From Earth by Josh. Oh, cool. It's showing you what it's putting in. All right, so we spent far too much time in the casino after mm -hmm. that blackjack tournament. I almost made it to the finals, but yeah. we didn't. So I had a really crappy round. I mean, like our entire table had a yeah. crappy round. I won my table, but it didn't get us anywhere. That's true. I ended up losing out because people were able to rebuy, mm -hmm. but whatever. Right. So next drink though. Cheers. Uh, mine is something with Midori. Midori and blue curacao. And mine is a margarita with blue curacao. All right. Cheers. And my Sprite. Oh. It's good. Bionic bar. Check. Afternoon snack. Um, one pepperoni, one barbecue chicken. All right, one more bar before dinner. Let's see how far we can make it in this trek. Schooner bar. Oh, 
When you need a little caffeine, but you want to get some drinks still, espresso martini. This it's, one's for you, Tom and Mindy. Yeah. It's a grown up Red Bull vodka, right? <laughs> I guess hey, so. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Scooter bar. Rachel, what do you think about your chair? I don't know. I think I'm in a cave. That might be it. Yeah. Cave. All right, well. It's not just me. But I love it. <laughs> I feel like Will Smith in Men in Black. When he's in like a chair. But the problem is, is you're taller. Like my seat. No, my I'm so sunk down. down. <laughs> so weird. But this is table number one. That's right. We're, we're, we're. Have some bread. It's warm. Nice. It smells good. Perfect. 2010. Yeah, all the bubbles. All the bubbles. I feel like I would shoot the cork all the way across the room. Oh, look, you're so close. Ooh, that is good. <laughs> yeah. yeah, sure. Mm. <laughs> All right, let's do it. <laughs> Yeah. All right, cheers. cheers. All right, so a formal night. We were running a little bit behind, so we did have to go straight over to 150 Central Park for our meal. What did you think? Wow. Service, wow. Food, wow. Beverages, wow. <laughs> All right, so we do not normally do Dom Perignon. First time ever. And great. I'm doing well in the casino today. I'm not gonna lie. And we're halfway through our trip, almost. Um, the nice thing is, like on a cruise ship, you pay for a lot of it ahead of time. So I had a bill of pretty much zero after yeah. three days. So you know, we celebrate. Cheers. Anyway, back to the meal. All right, Ray Short Rib was, I think, the best appetizer. Yes, I agree. Um, and we didn't even order it. Our waiter brought it because he thinks it's the best, and I agree with him. I would have to agree, too, because we also got the scallops and the pork belly. I will tell you the pork belly was too dry, yeah. not yummy. I, I didn't like it. I was saying to Rachel, I wish they would have called it roast pork because it really ate like a Chinese roast pork yeah. where you have that super crispy um, exterior, but then the meat was... It was fully cooked yeah. and not like that you know buttery cut anyway all right next up uh, main, main dish entrance. is three <laughs> lobster thermidor venison and the duck the duck all right i wish the duck skin would have been a little bit crispier but i really enjoyed the meat the meat was very good the meat was very good and the orange sauce was delicious right. on that it was so tasty lobster thermidor um we were kind of we were kind of expecting it to be a little bit different but it was it was very good the lobster was good i i would eat it again for the trails sure. were small yes it, it, it did seem small it's small it's a perfect third entree if you're gonna right. get one and then i like the venison the most personally i it, i felt like it ate like a um almost like a new york strip um 
and that's the one I struggled the most with because I thought it looked, and it, it's truly just a visual then taste thing. I thought it looked like more of a fillet, so I was expecting it to melt in my mouth, and it didn't. It was a bit chewier, not gamey. Like, yeah. don't be worried it wasn't about that. Gamey. It was so good about it, like yeah. that. Um, and then we did the fried cheesecake and the peanut butter chocolate tart. So we were gonna split both of those desserts. And our, our waiter, again, this is where the service comes in. He's like, no, 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 you can't split yeah. these two cheesecakes. He brought us each that and then the um, peanut butter chocolate tart. I like so the fried good. cheesecake the most. I would recommend it. I've seen that on the taste of Royal. Um, a lot of times they do the fried cheesecake for the 150 Central Park. So definitely try it. I didn't mind the um, peanut butter chocolate tart. Actually, my favorite thing was that port wine sorbet. Wow. You know, what that my, was so good. you know what my favorite thing was? Those chairs. Apparently, they're $8,000 chairs. Those giant things that come over like a hood. So, we were talking about getting them for our living room until he happen. told us the price. <laughs> yeah. Not going to happen, so I guess we'll just have to go there if we want to try it out. That's right. Um, we are now on the Rising Tide Bar, which is the bar that goes from the promenade up to the Central Park area. It's going to take off shortly here. And so, checking it out the list. Let's That's go. Great. So Rachel got mint berry. mint berry something, and I got the strawberry blonde. Mint berry So this might seem super simple, but the truth is not all these places are open at all hours. So like Jazz on 4 is not open until 9 p.m. So you can only do this at a certain amount, at a certain time frame. Hey, hey, hey. Much better. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Coconut, coconut mojito on the right, regular on the left. So what's the difference? One has salt? Uh, one has salt and I bet some kind of coconut. <laughs> Mine's not salt on the rim, it's coconut. Oh, that's the coconut. There's the difference. There we go. This is not easy. <laughs> yeah, this is harder work than we actually thought it was going to be. Yeah. Initially, it's like, oh man, I could do 15 drinks. Yeah, I we're just... do that in a day, especially a day where you can start drinking it. Right, I'm, I'm not driving. No. But we are, we are working on this plan. It's we're, hard. We're going to get there, but it's taking some time. And we found at least one or two places that is not on the original list. So keep, keep watching this. Chin right, chin hip, very good. Back, So our plan to go to Jazz on 4, grab a drink, and then go to the show fell through. 
because Jazz on Four does not have a bar in there. But it does have live jazz music, which was really cool. It was and cool. And it's a very cool ambiance. So we did that, but then went to the pub, which is our old school favorite. <laughs> That's right. Probably our most beer. regular, <laughs> but beer now, love and marriage. That's right. Very good, very good. Let's go here with Nancy. Nancy. 53 years with Frank. My question Headed into the attic, which is the comedy club. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got to the comedy club one minute before it started. You can see I kind of got heckled as I was recording coming in. I did two old fashions. Uh, so many fun. Two of them. It was funny. The drinks were good, and we sat at the bar. Let me tell you, it's adult comedy, so dirty. Beware for adult comedy. Super dirty. Yeah, it's awesome. All right. Yeah, looks like you have that. All right, you know what this means. We've we had are, too many drinks. Yes, we are headed back. Yeah. Pizza time. All right, I will say, taking the stairs is still a huge time saver. But it's still hard. But it's still hard, especially because I know we made it at least double digits. Yeah. I don't know what our number is, but I think we're doing good. <laughs> we're gonna make it through in these oh, next two days. That's right. All right, well, I hope you stick around for day two to drink at all the bars. <laughs> On the wall. Um, sorry, I felt rushed because that guy was walking behind us like super fast. Yeah. He was like... Creepy a, walking. Yeah, crazy person. Mm -hmm. um, but I hope you enjoyed this first day, first C day. We are going to put day one in, or day three and day seven together. But so, we should probably talk about the comedy show and the love and marriage. Love and marriage was very good. It was we ended up going a little bit over, which meant that yeah. we got into the comedy club a little bit late. So unfortunately, like we almost missed it, yeah. even though we had reservations. Um, but it was it was literally was within funny. one minute of starting. It yeah. it kind of started already. Yeah. Um, love I, and marriage. Love and marriage show was funny. I think the comedy show was hilarious. <laughs> I always enjoyed the love and marriage. I, I would go to it every single time. So I highly recommend that. And also, I thought the comedy show was very good as well. Yeah, they were both good. All right, good night. Good night. That's cute. I remember when I had my first beer. <laughs> Took us seven days, but we are now going to the buffet. Here for breakfast. Okay, wash your hands. Morning, morning, everyone. Morning. All right. So there are two sides. You can see you got your drink station right here. Milk, fruit. Beautiful fruit selection. A couple of antipasta, yogurt, canola, muesli, more fruit, bread, oatmeal, cream of wheat, a bunch of yogurts and stuff, baked beans, eggs. Potatoes, sausage, bacon, eggs, sausage. Excuse me. Uh, tomatoes, hash browns, biscuits and gravy, uh, rice congee, egg fried rice. Here you got your bagel, toast, pancakes. Looks like a Pancake spread, sticky buns, pastries. Rachel's gonna be bummed when she sees this because we have been wanting cinnamon toast crunch or frosted flakes and they don't have either. You go back further, you got drink station again. 
lots of good views in this ship. We are at the back of the boat in the aft. Bunch of salmon, bagels, more coffee. Everything is self serve right now. Ooh, a bunch of pre made omelets. Fried egg. Oh, here's some avocado toast. Good morning, everybody. We finally made it to the buffet on day seven. That's right. Starting here for breakfast. It is our final day on the ship, and it is sea day. Sea day. We got a mission to finish. We got Everything six more ever. bars. Oh, well, yeah. That too. <laughs> we definitely still want to do this slide. Yep. We got six more bars to do, and who knows what else? Yeah, let's go. All right, well, I went with pretty much similar stuff to what I've been doing all week. Eggs, toast, bacon. Got some sausage underneath there. Did do avocado toast. A billion different drinks. <laughs> um, grabbed a muesli. I've actually really enjoyed that. Me too. I've never had it before. You got a avocado toast, what else? Um, some prunes, some pineapple, some bacon. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be disappointed in the French toast. I ran into it and I've got a different kind of muesli. This one looks like peanut butter banana chocolate. Interesting. The problem I'm having though is just what we talked about. There's too much, like too many choices. Like I don't know what I want to put on my it's plate. It's actually very similar to the other spots that we've had breakfast, Great. but um, El Local Fresh has fresh omelets, whereas this does not. Oh. Yeah, so yeah. I think El Local Fresh is where I'd rather go, but at this point we're here. Since we did not come to the main dining room, I'll show you what the breakfast looks like here. It would be the same breakfast every day, but pretty similar offerings throughout the ship. So the good thing is we didn't see lines that were super long anywhere. So it's hard to beat. And there's your... Headed to Miami tomorrow. Boo. So we know on other ships, Johnny Rockets does serve breakfast, but apparently for some reason they have not opened up breakfast on Symphony of the Seas yet. So if you're interested in that, you're not gonna get it. All right, definitely planning on doing this one today. Today is going to be the day that we do all the activities we haven't done yet. Starting off big with the zip line. How'd it go? It was good. Your helmet looks a little weird. Oh, I bet. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah.
Bum bum. He did it. He did it. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> All right. Well, we just did all the things. Uh, yeah, we did the. What do you call it? Zip lining. We zip lined across the top. We took the abyss down, and then we climbed up the rocks. <laughs> That's um, right. Yeah. All our dry things. stuff is done. I thought it was really fun. I'm yes. glad they have these options. And the lines this morning have not been long at all. So Super it's been short. Very easy. Um, I remember somebody talking about doing the zip line on day one because the line is short. Well, I'll tell you on day seven, it's nothing. Yeah. Um, so even if you leave it towards the end, you're totally fine. Yeah. And rock climbing, we did that with like two minute wait. Yeah, uh, that. Long enough to put those straps on and get out. Yeah, and the abyss, there was literally zero weight. Oh, the thing on the rock climbing wall too, you have to wear socks, but they provide shoes. So that's really nice. That's it's actually huge. rock climbing yeah. shoes. So. Um, yeah, all around, super fun. Yeah. Glad we did it. Let's go get some coffee. <laughs> on the back of the ship. showered up after the pool bar number two we're checking out uh, on air this is just off the promenade which is hopping today yeah earlier this morning it looked like they held bingo in there um, and it looks like on their calendar they have a ton of trivia spots but we just want to grab a drink Blue Curacao Cosmo with Malibu rum and pineapple juice. And Rachel went with a vodka strawberry blonde. Okay. So in this particular uh, origami, it does. So please bottom to top, and you can mark it as deeper as you can your right? Here is an idea of a lunch at the main dining room. That does sound good. And I heard the royal chicken sandwich is actually very good too. Oh really? Yep. But we got other plans. To the boardwalk we go. Looks like they're setting up for a little cake. Sometimes at the end of a trip, you just need a good burger. That's right. No fancy food today. <laughs> well, till later. Uh, yeah. Starting off with some chili cheese fries, regular fries. Got some ketchup and ranch over there. And I'm pretty sure a milkshake is coming very soon, too. That's classic Rachel. <laughs> I should have a compilation video of Rachel saying, that's hot. That's hot. <laughs> yeah. All right, 
Oreo. Thank and you. Choba Sing. Enjoy. <laughs> Oh my goodness, all right, you can see bacon. There's a onion ring in there, smokehouse sauce, chili cheese dog. And what'd you get there? The number 12 burger, it's like their uh, signature burger, I think. Yeah, looking good, Johnny. Ooh, it's a pie. Well, that was a fantastic final lunch. I gotta say, it was probably the best lunch we had. I Maybe it's just because it. it's like comfort food, but Johnny Rockets, give it a try. That's right. All right, back on the prowl. We relaxed this afternoon, but back to finishing out these bars, trellis bar here in uh, Central Park. It's a little bit windier today, so we haven't spent too much time in here, but Got to, got to get these bars. All right, cheers. Mm. That'd be great. Sure. Thank you. All right, well, Team Lemonheads did not prevail. I keep at 30 points. The, yeah, this 40. was our, our first time doing trivia yeah. on a cruise ship. Yeah, 30 out of 40, not bad, but it was classic rock trivia. Um, I'll take that. I'll take that. short, short clips, like as short right. as three second clips. Yeah, very short. Um, but we're just doing a couple of espresso martinis here at Dazzles. Um, it is a very cool area. Uh, I could see. I guess if we ever end up on yeah, this ship again. I, w I wish we would have been here yeah. or found something to be here for earlier than this time. Yeah, this is actually a great venue. So, cheers. Thank you. Hey there. Hi, you look hard at work over here. I am. Because I keep looking at the wrong one. Uh, All right. Cabernet and a Riesling. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you. Yeah. Here we go again. That is very pretty. Pumpkin bisque. Oh, I didn't realize it was a soup. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. All you need to do is you have to flip the bread 
and you can have it along with the steak. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 And enjoy bon appetit. Thank you. Yeah. Anything you need, let me know, please. Oh, will do. Thank you. All right, a little beef tenderloin, medium rare, mashed potatoes, organic vegetables. That's black garlic. And black garlic. Yeah. And then a lamb wellington. Pumpkin puree. <laughs> and a salted spinach, maybe? I think it was squash puree, but yeah. All right, final dinner of the cruise. We actually, it's the only place that we doubled up um, and we did keep that reservation. It was for 150 Central Park. We did do a different meal completely. completely. Yeah. The only thing the same we had was one dessert. Yeah, fried cheesecake, which <laughs> was brought by our waiter and we really enjoyed it the last time. We ate it all this time. That's right. Um, this time we ended up with two soups and a beet salad. What'd you think? It was so homey. Yeah. I'm kind of surprised at the soups because they were very comforting, but more fall winter like for me. Yeah. Um, not that it stopped me from eating them. But they were good, and they honestly, really good. we we haven't been outside too much this afternoon, so it's not like we were super hot. Um, no. I despite would not how our skin looks. Yeah, I would not have wanted it had we been out in heat. No. Because that would have been yucky. And then we did, we both did the beef and we did the lamb Wellington. Um, I enjoyed both of them. I thought the beef was the best. Yeah, I would say though. For two lamb dishes on this cruise, lamb was good. It was good. Yeah, I thought I thought Jamie's lamb might have been the best meat of the yeah. whole cruise, um, but this was a very good meal. And then we did a cheese plate. I don't. I don't understand it, but we tried it. We did. Um, there was some blue cheese on there that was funky. From from America. Yes, it was. Um, <laughs> But overall, it was a great meal, great service. Really enjoyed that atmosphere. It would probably be number one for us, I yeah, think, as far as our favorite restaurant. Um, I'm hoping that they have a wider menu now and then because it, it is a yeah. menu that, like, we basically ran through 90% of the menu so in our two meals. We looked at it and there was one appetizer, which was a Caesar salad, and two main dishes that we didn't eat, which yeah. was cauliflower steak and... Veal medallions. Yep. Yep. So that's it. <laughs> and that's um, just out of two meals. But we are headed to our final bar, um, which we, according to our account right now, this might change when editing Josh comes in, <laughs> but um, this is going to be number bar number 18 that we've tried right. only on sea days. Now, some of these places you have seen throughout the trip, mm -hmm. but we are headed to the final one, and it might actually be what ends up being both of our favorite drinks of this trip. That's so right. hopefully <laughs> you've been tracking. I was going to say, if you can guess... <laughs> what our favorite yeah. drinks are going to be put Le it in the comments down below yep do it now <laughs> because you're going to see it in like 30 seconds so quick 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 pause go all right rachel made me take the stairs what do you yeah. have to say for yourself because we've been eating like pigs <laughs> it's a cruise isn't this what we do it is. all right final bar wonderland let's go get our drink on you gotta go through the door, by the way. Again? Do it, lady. There's a couch. Enter in a different world. So the bar is upstairs in Wonderland, which is right where you walk in, though. Actually head on over here, grab us a couch. Great final drink to this epic bar crawl. Thank you. <laughs> That's so awesome. All right, so anyone playing along, Rachel's drink does not have whipped cream in it. It actually has a salt foam. That's right. And then mine is a smoky old fashioned, but salt foam with a margarita. And I've got the smoky old fashioned. Yeah, mine's a white rabbit rita. Oh, isn't that supposed to be like a white rabbit? Oh, that makes sense. Oh, and then mine is called it. smoke rings. Yep. But it's a little bit loud in here, so we're gonna, we're gonna enjoy this drink and see where it goes.
All right, so we are back in our room. We are probably just going to go ahead and chill at, at the pool deck tonight. Mm -hmm. um, the comedian for the night just got canceled due to illness. I don't think we were going to go anyway. We've just been having a very relaxing day today, um, which you kind of need after six strong go-hard days. That's true. We may end up at Silent Disco. We'll see how we'll relaxed see. we get at the pool. Yeah. It might Stick end up around being... after this. This yeah. might be a preemptive closing. That's true. Um, but overall, we just want to thank you if you made it this far in the series. Um, I hope you really enjoyed it. Um, there is more to come. We've got a couple other cruises this year, as well as you can always find us doing some Vegas vlogs. <laughs> and we have some weekend getaways coming up too. So. We do. Mm -hmm. If you're enjoying that type of content, please make sure to hit that like and subscribe down below. It really helps our channel, um, as well as join our membership if you're interested in really getting to know us a little bit further. Thank you to our current gluttons who are out there helping us grow the channel and you know continue to support us. Uh, so overall, let's go with overall on the ship because the reason we booked this cruise was for the ship itself. I thought what the ship was am the ship? amazing. I would absolutely recommend yeah. people do it. Um, I'll say anyone that is concerned about you know rockiness or uneasiness on a cruise ship we had very little feeling of it. Um, last night at Hooked, I think, was the worst yeah. that I felt. Um, and then even during Hairspray, there was a little bit. But other than that... Yeah, you couldn't tell. Yeah, the first four or five days, we were like, I can't feel anything. No. Um, you know, there was no, like, swaying down the hallway. Mm -hmm. We had no issues when we got off the ship and having swaying. So yeah. I thought everything was great, actually. Yeah, there was a... I could hear... I could feel a little bit. Not feel it. Hear it with mm -hmm. our hangers last night but like Josh said it was very minimal so and I do intend to do a little bit of a um, how much did the trip cost us mm -hmm. because it was a cr free cruise uh, <laughs> through the casino yeah. obviously it wasn't free no. um, all our excursions cost money our drink package cost money our food package cost money um, I don't think that I regret any of it no. I feel like we got our money's worth out of everything. We we ended up eating at all but one eating venue, mm -hmm. and that was the main dining room. We ended up drinking at every bar <laughs> that you could get to. Um, now, the only places we didn't make it to were Sweet Only or Diamond Lounge, which we, we're not there yet. Yep. Um, so, But overall, I felt like it was a great experience, and it was an awesome place to spend a week. What would you say your favorite restaurant since we did do all the restaurants on the ship. <laughs> I, I would say 150 Central Park was my favorite restaurant. Um, now, I'm not going to lie. Johnny Rockets. Good, I'm glad you said that. Was, I was going to say, it's a good thing you take me because yes. I'll go with you to your favorite, but you got to come to mine I know. And, with and me. Don't get me wrong. Like, of course, it's a different level of food. And no, I don't want to go to Johnny Rockets for dinner. Or every day. But seven <laughs> days into a trip, I was ready for a burger. Mm-hmm. And it was delicious. It fit everything I needed. It, yeah. it was a milkshake. It was a greasy cheeseburger. Mm -hmm. It was so good. Um, what was your favorite bar? That's what I was going to say. Now, we did not spend as much time in some of the bars because what we found on past cruises is when you find one you like, you tend to keep going back. Right. There. Which is why yeah. when you're when you're seeing the fact that we ended up at, I can't remember if it's been I think 16 it's to 18. Or 18 yeah. yeah. Somewhere like that. Mm -hmm. Um yeah, I think it was like 18-ish um, bars that we ended up doing in our two C days. The tough thing about that is you find a bar that you enjoy and you stay there. Or the wait staff you know, that you enjoy or yeah, something. Yeah, it's not like you're just grabbing a drink, going to the next. Grabbing a drink, going to the next. So so that's the tough thing. And we really did have some waiters. Um, Who were awesome. That we really enjoyed the most. And, and the great thing is you can... Tip them at the end. Yeah. You can tip them during, whatever you want to do. But I think for me, the my favorite bar I'd want to go back to and just sit and relax is the Trellis Bar in Central Park. The Trellis Bar was great. Mm -hmm. um, we actually ended up spending a good deal of amount of time in Central Park. In Central Park. I really mm -hmm. liked it. Now, if I was going to do Central Park versus Boardwalk Room... I think I want Boardwalk. I, I think I want Boardwalk too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think Central Park, I, I really got a little bit turned around. Yeah. Um, whereas here on the Boardwalk, you you knew the ocean was to the left. You knew the rest of the ship was to the right. And it was a fun people watching stuff. It was. Yeah. What would you say, since we didn't do this necessarily for the ports we were at, what ended up being your favorite port? So I, you know, I could go to Coco Cay every day. <laughs> 
it's, it's so fun. I said it the day of, yeah. and I'll say it again. It is the ideal Caribbean beach day for me. It is a good day. It is beautiful. Mm -hmm. It is um, everything you want. You don't have to worry. I mean, your drink package carries over. Your, the food is there, and it's good, and it's free. It's beach food. Yeah. Um, you know... You can, everywhere you go, there's something to do. There's a chair for you. There's a umbrella. It was the perfect beach day, and it, I'm glad that we're going again that's later was, this year. That's what I was going to say. We have, have already done it twice with still more planned this year and still more to do. Right. So it is uh, cool. Uh, Mine would have been Roatan. Yeah. I, I loved Honduras. It was very cool. I, I do think that we got to give Cozumel another try. Mm -hmm. Um... Costa Maya, I think if we go to Costa Maya, we're either going to do Bacalar or... Uh, Stay on the ship. <laughs> Chacoban or Bacalar is probably where I would look to go mm -hmm. if we went back to Costa Maya. But, you know, it is what it is. That's right. I almost never felt overcrowded. No, the most crowded I felt was today after lunch when they were having that family fun day down in the boardwalk. Oh my god, but oh my it, gosh, was it was exciting. Crazy. Yeah, it was yeah. so fun. Like energetic fun and you could just see and I am going to mention this because we don't have children we don't bring children with us the children on this cruise were yeah. so well behaved there were three children on our um, excursion to the Chichen Itza ruins we didn't even know so there well were behaved. two on the um, shuttle until we got off the shuttle yeah like they were so well behaved so kudos to those parents out there because the kids were also well behaved and we had zero problems with anybody really on the entire yeah. cruise it was awesome overall i gotta say the whole experience was great mm -hmm. i know we had some hiccups along the way um but uh, i loved it i can't wait for the next cruise i hope you enjoyed it that's right hopefully you did and please if you have any concerns with cruising, don't hesitate to ask us questions. We'll be happy to share our experience at least and get you back into this cruise life. Yep. Look into my eyes and show me all adventures I haven't seen. Taking all the life, it is the spark. Walking on fantasy. So take me, baby. Take me to a state of mind. That's made of, baby, that's made of It's just us and the lifeguards. That's right. But it's a beautiful night. A little windy, but good news for us, we don't care. Nope. <laughs>